Hi, my name is Dr. Laj McCammon, and I'm a huge advocate of flipping the classroom because it offers this unique opportunity for every instructor to reach their potential. Now, we've all heard the phrase, practice makes perfect. And I would agree with that phrase more if it said training and practice makes perfect. So let's take a look at that scenario in a very simple illustration of teachers building skill level over time. So at the beginning of a teacher's career, they get some training and then they practice based upon the training they received. And you get some more training, more practice, more training, more practice, and you'll see that over time the skill level increases. Now at a certain point in a teacher's career, they stop seeking out training opportunities to change the way they teach. Now we give teachers a lot of professional development. We put them in a room and say, here are new ideas and here are new resources. And teach, many times the teacher's response is, that's great, I don't have time to implement those. So teachers fall back on their previous training and just practice and practice and practice and practice and hope that their skill level increases over time. The research suggests that there's a much more powerful way of building skill level over time using a simple concept like recording and reflecting, what I'm doing right here. So in a couple of minutes, I'm going to walk around this camera and watch this presentation back to see how I did because in the moment, I don't really know how I'm doing right now. And then also what I can do better next time I do this. So it can be a very powerful change in the way that I perceive myself and understand things that are going on with my instruction. So let's take a look at this again on a very simple uh, illustration here using the recording and reflecting technique. So if we get some training at the beginning of our teaching career and then we practice based on that training, so the same thing from before, but now we record and reflect a simple a lesson like this. Uh, and what's going to happen the first time a teacher does this is they're going to watch it back and it's going to be exceptionally painful. They say, oh my gosh, I don't like the way I look, or I, don't, uh, I didn't realize I speak so quickly, or I didn't realize I speak so slowly, or I didn't realize that in this part of the video I don't really know my content. Ugh, that's embarrassing. And then I didn't realize that I say um every third word. So that's a really heavy dose of disequilibrium, but that's the key to true learning, breaking through those barriers. So we'll see a surge in skill level using recording and reflecting. Then we get some more training, more practice. And then when we record and reflect again, we see another surge because we're fixing those issues. We're breaking through those barriers and fixing those problems that we have with our instruction and the way we present. So when we get to a point in a teacher's life when they're not seeking out training anymore, they don't have time for new ways of teaching, we've essentially trained people to make themselves better. And it's a theory of mine that this can show an exponential growth. Using recording and reflecting, recording and reflecting can show an exponential growth in skill level over time for teachers. Uh, and I like to think of this as each teacher reaching their potential as an instructor. And we see this in other professions as well, such as sports teams, you know, football team will film their game and watch it back and deconstruct what happened. You know, you were out of position, uh, you know, uh, we did, we're not getting back fast enough, those types of things where in the moment the, the team doesn't know that. You're out there playing on the field, you, you're not sure what's going on. It's that reflective part where you're watching that video back and watching yourself and, and then breaking through those barriers to reach your potential as a team. Artists, musicians, dancers, they all do this. Surgeons, they'll film their surgery watching that back to reach their potential as a surgeon. So we want each teacher, each instructor to reach their potential and then use that to flip the classroom. So each teacher is going to record and reflect these videos, such as this video right here, where they're recording all their lessons. And then the greatest thing about this is not only going to help this instructor reach their potential, but these videos can also be used to flip the classroom. So students watch these videos outside of the classroom, which creates class time in order to engage every student. Oops. To learn more about flipping the classroom or our flipped classroom training program, please visit fi.ncsu.edu/fizz. The thing fell on me.